from the table so that they don't damage any of the ballots. Okay. Thank you to the public for coming this morning. And I'll just take you back to Tuesday night um, at the conclusion of the, of the referendum. It was found that it was a difference of 17 votes. So 17 votes automatically, by law, triggers a recount. So that's what we're doing this morning. But that evening, after it was announced that there would be a recanvass, the election officials, registrars of voters, town clerk, sealed all of the election materials in a bag, locked them, and secured them in a secure room. And no one has had access to these materials until this morning when we opened them up. Um, so that's where we are today. And I want to um, introduce some of the election officials who are here today who will help me. And by the way, my name is Patty Ulatowski, and I was the head moderator for the referendum, so that puts me in charge of this procedure this morning. We have Jeanette Benson, Republican Registrar of Voters. We have Sue Conniff, Democratic Registrar of Voters. Her deputy, uh, Jan Larson, and Judy Stupe, the Republican Deputy Registrar of Voters. Marsha Mater, town clerk. Did I say that right? Marsha Mater? Ben <laughs> I, I remember her as Marsha Mater. Okay, these are the people who will be assisting me today. Um, I, I ask you to respect this process and to remain silent. Uh, if you have any questions, you're to direct your questions to me. You are not to direct your questions or interfere in any way with the election officials who are at the table. We will go through the process and begin with counting all of the paper ballots that were cast in person at the precincts, all of the absentee ballots which were cast at the town clerk's office, and all of the ballots which were cast in relationship to the grand list. And I'll have, Ms., uh, I'll have Marcia explain the grand list procedure to you, just so in case they don't understand who votes by grand list. Um, the people who vote by grand list are people um, who own property in the town valued at more than $1,000 and was on the last grand list of October 1st, uh, 2000, 2009. And, um, those people can come in and vote from a grand list if they are not registered voters of the town. And we did have a few of those people vote on Tuesday. Um, any questionable ballots will be brought to the attention of myself. I will discuss them with the election officials who are here and we will come to a consensus. But the final decision of which direction the vote goes will be mine. Um, everyone is welcome to participate. I'll, um, I'll try to answer any of your questions. If I can't answer them, I'll find someone who can. Any questions before we begin? Okay. 